and Ganella here welcome back to my channel and to another video today I have two hauls for you firstly I'm going to show you the haul I got today which was from Aldi I've not been in Aldi forever so it was nice to go I spent 79 pounds and then I'm going to show you a smaller haul that I got in Tesco's that was like three or four weeks ago but I thought I would show you nevertheless because it's not made it into any of my other videos and it's kind of a smaller one so let's get started so here's the frozen stuff got some chicken breasts also some garlic bread ready to share so I think there's two two baguettes in there I also got some uh, pan au chocolat. I don't see these very often at my Aldi. The frozen stuff is $1.99. I'm sure um, Tesco's is more expensive. And you guys told me that I could find some of these in Aldi. And so I did. If you guys remember, I got something very simile, similar, mochi, from Tesco's. And it was £4.50 for six i actually got two packs and each pack is 2.99 that will do me nicely still frozen i got some raw peeled argentinian red shrimp and as well as some apple crumble oh, is it autumn at, or winter at all if you haven't got an apple crumble paul loves this this was 99p she thought Look at that, subs for it'll be fine. And this was, I think, three twenty nine. Fridge stuff. I picked up some smoky barbecue ribs. Alex loves those. Some double cream, spreadable butter. Little thing, a bistro salad. Some Greek. That's not for the fridge. I'll show you that in a minute. Some mozzarella. Some medium cheddar. Two things of pastries. I got steak slices and ham and cheese. And I also picked up, I've never had these before, crispy smoked bacon, ready to eat. I thought this might be a nice addition to salads or things like that. And two things of ham, just got different types as well as um, Greek style honey yogurt. Then bread wise, I picked up some brioche rolls and some... Uh, toasty white toasty also bread some bake at home these are not the baguettes these are like the rolls so they're kind of half a baguette there's two packs of those and there's actually as well i've never tried this char grill tortilla wrap so that'll be nice we've got some slush puppy um little lollies these go in the freezer there's these biscuits which are like twix i also got some of this caramel shortcake and basically this is like um, what we call millionaire shortbread uh, it's got shortbread at the bottom caramel in the middle and then thick layer of chocolate some spinach and ricotta tortellini some of these biscuits for alex got some of these um fox summer punch no sucky sweets that's what we call them Paul really likes that kind of stuff got a big bag of sweet and salty popcorn and noodles two things of instant noodles they only had this flavor this I think was one pound nine or something like that it's a really big bag there's some frazzles two things of ready salted crisps normal ones and then the crinkly ones there's also some sage and onion stuffing some of these savory crackers i think these are like the ritz crackers rip off two things of bread flour three things of frosting. and finally on this side i got some sunflowers they're really look at that two pounds 69 awesome price they're really closed up as well so hopefully that will mean they'll last a bit longer picked up very few bits for oscar just some mangoes here greek style yogurt oh that's a greek style yogurt and that's just plain mangoes okay and then carrot puffs as well as raspberry and blueberry rice cakes and some veggie straws i also got these i actually picked these up for a friend of mine uh, these are just their wipes and i got this i've never seen these eco nappies so i got some of those 
for Ozzy for him to try out. I've had mixed reviews with the uh, the nappies, but we'll see. Finally, on this side, I've got some biscuits here, some chocolate digestives, and I saw these. I've never tried these hazelnutter Maryland cookies. So I'm very excited to try that. These were 50p, I think, and these were 75p. I got them more because I've never tried them before. I love using this rapeseed oil. is awesome in my eyes. I got this. This is less than two pounds for a bottle of that. So I got two. Some taco seasoning for 39p. I picked up their day cream. I've completely run out. So SPF 30. And this was 3.29, I think. Some mayo. Some olives. Colossal Greek olives. Delicious and some tuna chunks and then you guys i have never tried clementine curd i've tried lemon curd and i really like lemon curd so when i saw this i thought i've, I've got to give it a try yeah looks so delicious so here's all the stuff i got i picked up some puff pastry i'm working on a portuguese sweet uh, but i haven't perfected it once i do i will share that recipe with you but anyways i've got some more to try got some cheese and chive dip as well as some hummus it was um by it's one pound each if you buy them together buy two for, for two pounds sorry big thing of smoothies i actually like these uh better they're slightly smaller alex sometimes has a little bit of struggle finishing one of these one of the bigger ones so yeah look it's the perfect portion size for kids so there you go also picked up some munch bunch also these i have a feeling that alex has already tried these but i thought i would let him try it again i'm always trying to get some sort of dairy and calcium into him so anyway um we'll try that if he doesn't like it i'll try it with ozzy if ozzy doesn't like them paul can eat them and if paul doesn't eat does not like them they're not worth eating if you might you know what i mean because he likes everything um i also picked up some cheddar mild so ozzy can have some Milk, you will see this. Blue top is the full fat milk for Oscar and anyone that comes for a cup of tea. Paul and I just drink coffee, so we don't tend to use milk. But yeah, there you go. Also picked up these. They were on offer for 50p each. Uh, they're usually 75p. Again, for um, Alex to try and if not, Ozzy. And if not, Paul. You know, you know how it goes. Uh, I told you 50p each. This was a pound for the four. Um, I, I think this was a pound as well. And this, I can't remember, maybe two pounds. Some grapes for two pounds. I got the, the mixed selection. They're both seedless. Two things of ham. As you can see, two for three pounds. Some British diced beef. That was about two pounds fifty. It's really good. I've had it before. It works. Some baby corn and some mange too. Uh, the baby corn was one pound. 70p, I think, the mange too was. And then let's talk about bread. I've got some tortilla wraps. Milk bread. Oh, look at that. Source of calcium. Uh, this is Alex's bread. Uh, so I'll freeze one and then get one on the go. Such. There's some crumpets some croissants as well I have some wholemeal bread i've just got two different types for no particular reason but um oscar will have some of this because he doesn't know any better he doesn't know the ways of the white bread so he'll have some of this for now and then i picked up some um hoisin sauce there's some soy sauce some hoi what did i get two then I obviously got one by mistake, you guys. I obviously added one too many. I just needed one, but anyway. And some sesame oil. This is to make um, chow mein. I got a really nice recipe. Some sweet and salty popcorn. Got some of these um, fruit bakes. There's some sandwich pickle. Some egg noodles for the chow mein. Some of these 
ready salt well they're not ready salted there's no salt in them they come with a little packet of salt so you can add as much or as little as you want they don't have any particular flavor they're just crisps so alex has them i prefer him to have those without any salt than the ones with lots of salt so got some of those some multi-grain hoops that was a substitution but it's fine some more ritz crackers those are so nice and some digestive and so also one of these chili con carne sachets with all the flavor inside and on this side just got some nappies for Ozzy as well as some wipes and now I want to show you this I don't know what type of sorcery this is but here I don't know if you've all seen it I've only just come across it Jaffa Jonuts. What? So, they're not, they, do they taste like Jaffa cakes or what, what's happening here? What is this? What is this? We're going to try it right okay. now. So there's four in a pack, individually wrapped. This is what they look like. Let's try it. Okay. Okay. They taste like Jaffa cake, but with a lot more of the sponge that you, that you would usually get in the biscuit or the Jaffa cake, as you call it. They're nice. I like it. But it's weird. But I like it. You know, try it out. If you like Jaffa cakes, you'll like that. And for that sure. is it for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed it. I am currently at putting the final touches to my autumn decorations so i'll be sharing with that with you guys soon and obviously i'm starting prep for vlogtober i hope you are as excited as i am have a good weekend and i'll see you guys next week bye